We've got a lot accomplished so far in Chapter 9, but we still have a long way to go, I'm sorry to say. <sighs> well, such is life. All right, so we're going to do 9-3 now, 9-3 number 19. So let's look at it. Here we are. Um, the drug Lipitor is meant to lower cholesterol levels. In a clinical trial of 863 patients who received 10 milligram doses of Lipitor daily, 47 reported a headache as a side effect. All right. Now, let's see here. We got some information. We better start typing it. So let's see. What was N? N is our sample size. So they went and polled 863 people, right? X is how many have what you were looking for, in this case, a headache. So that's 47. So for part A, it wants a point estimate of, of the proportion, right? That's P hat. Um, it looks like a P with a little hat on his head. When you look at him in a formula here, let me show you. That guy right there. He's called P hat. He's got a little hat. See? All right. So P hat is X over N. That's the formula for it. Here, let me type it. X divided by N. Now, what would that be in our case? That would be equal to X, which is 47, divided by N, which was 863. All right. There's P hat. That's done. I know it looks like fat, but it's not. Statisticians aren't nearly cool enough to have that kind of code name. All right, now for part B, verify that the requirements are meant for constructing a confidence interval. Well, let's go back and see what kind of requirements we've got here. Ah, we've got two requirements. We need to know that N is smaller than 0.05 capital N, and we need to know that N times P times 1 minus P is greater than 10. Now, both of these should look very familiar to you because this is from section 8.2, right? These are the things that would be required in order to know that the data is normal. So let's check n times p times 1 minus p. Okay, we need it to be greater than 10 or equal to 10. So n was 863 times p. Well, your best guess for p is this one right here. So, oops, I forgot the time symbol. There we go. Use p hat. I mean, that's as good as you can get. Times parentheses 1 minus p hat, right? There we go, right? So we're going to use p hat to stand in for p. That's as good as we can do. Notice it's bigger than 10. Yes, bigger than 10. Good. Now the other thing we need is that n is less than or equal to 0 0.05 capital N. Well, little n was 863. That just has to be less than 5% of all the people that take Lipitor. Which, if you know anything about the drug Lipitor, yeah, that's less than 5%. That's, it's one of the most commonly prescribed drugs in America. So, yes, 863 is lower than 5% of the population for sure. All right, so since those two things are met, yes, the two conditions of making an interval are met for this problem. Okay, This one's a little hand wavy because we don't know what capital N is, but we know it's big. Really, really big. Right? Lots of people take Lipitor. So as long as we're less than 5% of that, we're golden. Next, oops, I'm going to scroll down because I think we're going to need this formula here. Yep. Alright, construct a 90% confidence interval. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get all that in one. So I'm going to pause on this one and I think I'm going to fit that into the next um, tutorial. So I'll see you in a minute, if you click on the next tutorial that is. <laughs>